Hey, Dripify fam, my name is Kayla, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to Dripify, the most trusted sales automation tool transforming lead generation for thousands of businesses worldwide. In today's video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to integrate Dripify campaigns with your CRM using Zapier. We'll also explore other app integrations that can automate data flow between Dripify and your favorite tools, ultimately optimizing your entire sales workflow. Let's head over to the Zapier website and explore everything in detail. If you haven't had much experience with Zapier, it's a fantastic automation tool that connects the apps you use daily to simplify your workflows. For instance, you can use Zapier to link your scheduling app, like Calendly, with your CRM to automatically add leads or send appointment reminders to clients. Or you can connect your help desk system, like Zendesk, to Slack to instantly notify your team about important tickets. And now, with Dripify, you can push events from your Dripify campaigns to your favorite tools, whether it's HubSpot, Notion, Asana, you name it. With over 7,000 apps available on Zapier, you're very likely to find all the tools you already use. The process is quite straightforward. First, you create a Zap in Zapier and paste the code from it into the relevant campaign in Dripify. Then, you select the appropriate trigger event. For example, when a connection request is accepted, or when a lead responds, and save your settings. From that point on, Dripify will automatically send lead data to Zapier whenever the event occurs. Zapier will then forward this data to your selected applications and perform the action you've configured, like creating a new lead in HubSpot or adding a row of data in Google Sheets. Now, let me guide you through the entire process in more detail. Let's begin by creating a quick campaign in Dripify. Adding leads. Building a sequence. and naming the campaign. Below, we can set up our Zapier integration. I'd like to connect Dripify with HubSpot to automatically create leads in the CRM whenever a connection request sent through Dripify is accepted on LinkedIn. This is one of the most popular use cases among Dripify users, and I highly recommend selecting the event trigger after a connection request is accepted. At this point, you'll have all the necessary data to create a lead in your CRM, including the lead's email address, which, as you know, becomes available once they become a first-level connection, and which is crucial for adding a contact in the CRM. Okay, so we've selected our preferred event. And now it's time to get the custom link from Zapier. For this, head over to zapier.com. Now we need to create our first zap. Press Create and select Zaps. The first step is to choose the trigger, which is the event that starts the workflow. For this, select Webhooks. It's a standard app used to gather data, and we'll use it every time we create a zap. Next, select how you want the webhook to operate. Always choose Catch Hook as the trigger event. Zapier has now generated a custom webhook URL. This URL needs to be pasted into the relevant campaign in Dripify. So, Press copy, go back to the Dripify campaign, paste it into the required field, and press test so Dripify can send test data to Zapier. Great, now head back to Zapier. Click test trigger, and here you'll see the test request Dripify sent to Zapier. Click on it to view the lead details Dripify just pushed to Zapier. This includes the person's first and last name, location, LinkedIn profile link, website, email, phone number, and more. To move on, click Continue with Selected Records. And now choose a software to receive this data. Since we want our leads information to appear in HubSpot, search for HubSpot. And under Action Event, select the exact action you want HubSpot to perform with the data from Dripify. Let's scroll through the options. 
and here it is. Create or update contact. Perfect. Now tie your HubSpot account by clicking here. Select the correct account in HubSpot and grant the necessary permissions. Once that's done, press continue to proceed. Next, we'll match the contact fields in HubSpot with the fields from Dripify. For the contact email field, press slash to reveal options and select email. For fields like street address, annual revenue, or company ID, we don't have this data from LinkedIn, so we'll skip those. For city, select the Leeds city. For company name, select company. And continue matching fields. Country. First name. LinkedIn URL. Industry. Job title. Last name. As you can see, the field order isn't ideal, but it's not a problem at all. Mobile phone number. And company website. Once everything is matched, press continue to review. Double check that everything is correct. And if it is, press the button to send this test contact to HubSpot. Now go to your HubSpot account, and there it is. The contact has been created and the integration is working perfectly. As we're almost done, go back to Zapier. Press publish, and that's it. Your Zap is now live. From this point on, whenever someone accepts a connection request from your Dripify campaign, they'll appear in HubSpot as a new contact. It's worth mentioning that you can modify your Zap to add more apps to the workflow. For example, if you like to not only create a HubSpot contact, but also add a row in Google Sheets with the leads information, it's absolutely possible. Simply open your Zap, hit Edit, add a new step here, select Google Sheets from the application list, and follow the steps just as we did before. Amazing, right? Another thing to note is that if you already have an active campaign in Dripify, you can still set up a Zapier integration for it at any time. Just open the campaign, go to settings, and proceed with the integration. If you ever want to stop your integration, simply select no integration here and press save changes. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a clear understanding of how Zapier integrations work in practice. Feel free to use this as your step-by-step -step guide when connecting applications to Dripify campaigns. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.